This ordinance, if approved, could end smoking on the beach here at the Isle of Palms. But one person I spoke with tonight wants to see a smoking ban pass more than anybody else. I'm down here almost five days a week uh, doing a sweep someplace. Howard Hogue has devoted his retirement to cleaning up the beach on the Isle of Palms. When I first got down here at Isle of Palms, I noticed that there was some litter along the beach, so I went and picked it up. and. It became where it got so much to pick up by hand, I got a grabber in a bucket. He is most commonly referred to as Beach Santa. I know when I go to the beach to do my cleanups, I always wear a red swimsuit and a, a red top. And of course, with the uh, hair and the uh, beard being of the uh, gray, white or white color, it, it amplifies that pretty quick. I always try to have in my uh, top of my tank top, at least one of my business cards at all times with me. He's picked up and documented over 24,000 cigarette butts from the Isle of Palms. I get a lot of people asking me, do I get paid for what I do? I said, no, it's I volunteer. I, it's a way of giving back to volunteer. Hogue has expressed to council that passing a smoking ban could cut down on litter in a big way. Tonight, council introduced an updated ordinance that passed first reading, but still has not been approved. The council will be meeting on December 10th for a second reading of this ordinance. But if you want to learn more about Beach Santa, you can head to countonto.com for the full story. I'm reporting from the Isle of Palms, Katie Turner, Count On 2.